How are you everyone? My name is Mr. J.M. Kimani, a lecturer in quantitative analysis. Welcome to lesson three of the queuing theory. Now lesson three focuses on uh, waiting costs, calculation, and the multi-channel. Now, <clears throat> the first question will be uh, June 2013, question one, part B. June 2013, question one, part B. It reads that a machine service facility specializes in the repair of machines whose breakdowns are in accordance to Poisson process. The cost of an idle machine hour is shillings 250 per hour. A technician services the machine at the rate of seven machines per hour. The technician can service the machines at an average rate of nine machines per hour if he attends a one-week comprehensive training uh, at a cost of shillings 11,000. Assume the facility operates for eight hours per day and a five-day training week. The average breakdown of the machines is five machines per hour. Required, determine whether the technician should attend the training. End of question. Now, we have been given the current situation and the proposed should uh, the technician attend a training facility. So, at the moment, so this is... a. Uh, June 2013, question 1, part B. At the moment, we are having the arrival rate, which in this case, it means the breakdown of machines. Remember, this is a, a service facility where it receives machines that are broken down and uh, uh, maybe would repair them. So the arrival rate is actually the speed at which the machines break down. And you have been told that... Um, this is, is it a nine? No, no, no. The a technician services the machines at the rate of seven machines per hour. That's servicing. The technician can service the machines at nine. Okay. Uh, we have been told uh, the last statement that uh, the average breakdown of the machines is five machines per hour. So therefore, this is five machines per hour. And then you have uh, the service rate currently is seven machines per hour currently before the training then you are asked determine whether the technician should uh, attend the training so our solution will be that um, uh, costs after training should be lesser than uh, cost before training So cost after training and then the cost are before training. So you can see that uh, where waiting cost formula, waiting cost formula will be WC is given by, we have uh, the waiting time in the service or in the system multiplied by the arrival multiply by the cost per hour, multiply by the hours, maybe per day. This is hours per day. And in our case, because of um, the week, we can multiply um, maybe hours per day or per week, according to this um, question. So in our case, we consider that um, where the Waiting in the system is given as 1 divided by the service minus arrival. Waiting in the system is 1 divided by the service minus arrival, which, of course, we have been given everything that uh, 1 divided by the service is 7 minus arrival is 5. This is actually a half an hour. So a machine waits in the system for a half an hour when is uh, before service and even uh, during the service. So together is half an hour. 
Now, the machine uh, we incur 250 shillings when the machine is idle. Now, the machine is idle when it is not working. Whether it is in the hands of the technician repairing it is not working. And therefore, we take WS, which is the waiting time in the system. But if, for example, the cost is only when uh, during waiting, let me say that. If the cost is only during waiting, then that time we can talk over the waiting time in the queue. So uh, the common one is the WS in the system. But should the cost be when the customer is waiting, that's when you have the uh, problem, then that time we can talk of waiting time in the uh, queue. Uh, we are going to have this with that um, uh, cost before training before training we'll have wc equals to ws is already half an hour we multiply by the arrival is five machines multiplied by the cost is uh, 250 per hour 250 per hour multiplied by the number of hours in a day so eight hours per day multiply by the days in a week there are five training uh, days in the week so therefore in a week is five days here so five days so how much is this this will give us a cost of this is um 0.5 times 5 times 250 times 8 times 5 this is giving us 25000 this is 25 thousand the amount of money currently we are spending on waiting is actually 25 when the machine is not working and we are the one holding the machine so we are um, maybe exposing the owner of that machine or the department owning the machine we are exposing it to a tune of um, 250 uh, per hour and therefore because there are five machines arriving so they are all being uh, held uh, without working and therefore total is coming to 25,000 for the whole week But suppose we go to cost after training. This is a cost After Training So our WS will change Which is uh, because we now have our new so we can have here that uh, So we can see where the service rate you are told nine it was seven before, but now it's going to be nine after the training. So therefore, this is per hour. So our WS will be one divided by nine minus five, which is actually a quarter. A quarter an hour. So therefore, WC equals to a quarter multiplied by five machines arriving times 250 times eight hours times five days times 5 days, so this is going to be 0 0.25 times 5 times 8, no, 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 times 250 times 8 times 5, this coming to 12 500 then we add the training cost, so we have uh, add training cost, we have been told that that um if he attends a one week training, comprehensive training, at a cost of 11. So the training is costing 11,000 in, in total. So this is 11,000. So this is going to be shillings. This is a 23,500. So now we need to compare the cost before training, 25,000. The cost after training is 23,500. So should the technician uh, train yes because the cost is cheaper so our advice is that we would rather have the technician attending the one week training because despite us paying a cash out of 11,000 it minimizes our, um, our waiting cost from 25,000 to 12,500 so the benefit is 12,500 the cost cut and at a cost of 11. So there's no problem spending 11 to save 12,000. So that is actually the position. Therefore, our 
solution to that one is that uh, the technician should attend the training. And that's all about uh, that question, uh, June 2013. Uh, another question that uh, will lead us to waiting costs is an illustration uh, which I'm going to read that uh, customers arrive at the Roni tax preparation office at an average rate of one per hour. The average time is it takes uh, Ms. Roni to prepare a customer's income tax form is 45 minutes. Number A, what is the probability of no customer arriving in two hours? Number B, what is the probability that an income tax form is finished within 45 minutes from the time it is started? C, what is the average time a customer spends waiting to see Ms. Rooney? D, what is the probability Ms. Rooney has three customers in the office? That is, two waiting uh, customers plus the one being served. And then E, Ms. Rooney is contemplating a computer system to help her with her income tax preparation. She estimates that uh, such a system will reduce the average time to prepare a return from 45 minutes to 30 minutes. The computer uh, leases for, uh, for pounds, not pound, but uh, for dollars 40 per day. Ms. Rooney estimates the average cost to her of having a waiting customer due to goodwill, uh, to goodwill lost sale, etc., as dollars three per hour. She is open ten hours per day. Now, uh, Roman one: Should she lease the computer? And then, Roman two: If Ms. Rooney has the option of hiring another tax preparer for dollars 60 per day who works at the same speed as she does should she do this rather than leasing the computer end of question now this question is still about uh, the probabilities and the formulas that we had used before so we just want to use it as a way of um, exiting uh, these uh, queuing theory, the formulas, then I, w I went, wind up with uh, the multi-channel. That uh, the part A, and you have been told that um, the uh, customers arrive, this is arrival. So arrival to her office is at the rate of one per hour. So this is one customer. Or either uh, return, one tax return per uh, hour. And then the service rate, you're told that um, Ms. Rooney prepares a customer income tax form for 45 minutes. So therefore, so one customer, 45 minutes. So in one hour, so this will be 60 over 45, which is on average 60 over 45, 60 divided by 45. This actually uh, this is a third, or either 4 over 3. You can have 4 over 3 customers or returns per hour. So 1 hour, 4 over 3, I'm um, uh, 3.1.3, while uh, the, uh, the arrival is 1 customer. 1 customer per hour. So with that, now we can answer part A. That part A is asking us, what is the probability of no Customer arriving in uh, two hours. No customer arriving in two hours. So remember, we said that um, the formula for no customer arriving in two hours, this one we rather use the Poisson distribution. So part A, so probability of X equals to, we have uh, the arrival power X, E minus arrival, divided by x uh, factorial. So we do have everything. We have been told now about um, uh, two hours. So in our case, we require to change. This service rate is one customer in one hour, the average. But we have been asked about in two hours. So we are going to have it that, um, so where? So this is going to be one customer per hour 
times two hours. So this will be two customers per two hours. So two customers per two hours arriving. So now we can see that are therefore. So probability of x equals to zero. No customer arriving. You can have it as two power zero e minus two you divide by zero factorial. Of course now our answer shall be that um, this is two power zero is already one. Zero factorial is one. So our answer is dictated by uh, uh, e minus two which is a shift e minus two. So our answer is actually 0 0.135. Now, this is Poisson distribution because of the arriving. Otherwise, it is different from if the question was asking us the probability of no customer in the system. No customer in the system. But this is asking no customer arriving. So because of that, arriving is Poisson distributed. And therefore, you have to use the Poisson distribution um, formula. Or P, uh, uh, This is... Um, uh, PDF, and therefore we are able to get our answer there. Now, the part B is asking us, what is the probability that an income tax form is finished within 45 uh, minutes? So this again is about time, and uh, time is, is exponentially distributed. So we are going to have here that, uh, uh, sorry, this is uh, B. So B, we have a uh, probability of less than T is given by 1 minus E minus the uh, uh, service times T. This is for less than or within. Remember, we said within with this one, but if it was more than, we would have used all this part without 1 minus. Eh? So in our case, we can say that um, this is, so probability of, so therefore, probability of uh, T to be less than or within 45 minutes equals to 1 minus E minus the service is actually 4 over 3 while our time is 45 minutes. 45 minutes is actually 45 out of 60 because we want to know in hours. 45 minutes in hours is uh, 45 over uh, 60. So this will give us 1 minus E. So this is uh, going to give us a minus power. So if I say if I say uh, 4 divided by 3, we multiply by 45 divided by 60. This is giving us 1, in fact.